When given the task of making a last minute corsage, the flowers aren't usually a problem. It's finding a wristlet that can be a problem. But I have a crafty solution that can turn a scrunchie or some bracelets into a great DIY corsage. Here's your supply list. So let's start off with flowers, of course. Mini carnations are sweet, or you can use these baby spray roses, some greenery if you have it, and some filler flowers. Next, some corsage ribbon, color of your choice. You'll need about five feet or two yards, about a foot of some thinner ribbon or even some twine. This is, will help attach your base. Some floral ribbon or chenille stems, pipe cleaners. This will help you make the bow trusty glue gun and then a little piece of cardboard that's roughly one to one half inches. I cut out a paper plate and then some scissors. We're ready to go. Okay so as you can see I have prepped all of my flowers. I have trimmed my roses down quite far to the little nubs. I've already cut my little pieces of baby's breath and I've trimmed my greens. I didn't want the little ends. I want this to be able to fit snug up against the ribbon. And then next, let's look at the base that we need to make. I said uh, earlier that we needed a one by one and a half inch piece of little kind of heavyweight paper. I used a paper plate and then I rounded off the edges. Next we'll need to punch four holes in it. If you don't have a tiny hole punch like this, you can always use an awl or a nail, something just enough to get a little piece of ribbon through. Next, let's make the corsage bow. All we're going to do is make four loops, five loops on each side. We're just going to run it back and forth, trying to use your fingers as a little bit of a measure so that it can be equal. We're going to squish it up later. Three, four, and that's four and five. Okay. So you can go ahead and take your scissors, give it a little snip, and now we're going to kind of just scrunch it all up in the center. And this is where you, you can use floral wire or the chenille stems. Okay. We're going to have to make it tight, 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 tight. We're going to be able to separate all this out in a little bit. What we want to do next is actually thread the wire through the holes on the top and then snug it up. We're basically just making a little DIY wristlet right here. I have to probably need to put my glasses on so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now we're going to twist. All right, there we go, it's snug on there. And then we wanna snip it. Hm, it's all black, I couldn't see what I was doing. All right, and then just kind of bend it over a little bit. Now we choose our scrunchie. I'm gonna use this neutral one because I think it'd be pretty with just about any color dress. I get those glasses on now going to thread the ribbon through this empty hole on the side and then placing the ribbon through the hole of the scrunchie we're going to run it up into this other hole let me grab him there we go Okay, and now we're just going to tie it all on right underneath of the bow. And now, get my fingers to work. There we go. There we go. Now we give a little trim. Another little trim. make that a little bit more secure. What I can do is a little, use a little piece of hot glue right here. And 
And now we're just going to separate out our ribbon to make room for our flowers. Okay, I think we're just about there. What we're going to do is basically do one in the center and then four around, and then we'll fill in with our greens. So I'm going to do dollop of hot glue, put him in the center, and just hold it for a second until it can dry. There, that fast. We're going to go on all four corners now. So you're looking at relatively small flowers with this. If you use the larger roses, it'll be a little bit too heavy and you'll find that it will spin on your rest. Nobody wants that. And like I said, mini carnations work really well. And depending on where you live, you might be able to have some freesias or sweet peas, some other little flowers. So now the reason that we use the greens, and that's to hide some of the mechanics that's down here. If you don't have greens, it's okay. You can use just some extra baby's breath. That works out well too. But this kind of grounds it too and gives it a little bit of weight. You can see how pretty that is. This is variegated pedosporum. And it's readily available the further south you go. You could use boxwood from out in the yard. You can even use the, the roses, uh, the leaves that, that come with the roses, although I don't think it holds up that well um, if this is gonna be made too far ahead. Just a couple more leaves just to give it some weight. And then we'll be ready to add those fillers. Yeah. So I've already snipped these little baby's breaths just so that it's much easier to quickly place in. And we don't want them too far out. This is, again, it's a filler. It's not supposed to be a dominant. Don't be afraid to snip those little tails down. And what you can also do, let me quickly show you, is you can put glue right on the mat and then dip your flower in if it feels like it's getting a little bit too close to your fingers. I find that to be very helpful sometimes. Looks like we're gonna have to clean up some little spiders from that. Spider webs, I should say. Okay, and you know, this is a little flat and what I wanna do is Use some of this pretty little rice flour. And I think that will soften some of the red. Yeah, that's pretty. And you can use just whatever you have. You can, artificial flowers work really well too. When it's last minute, a lot of times you just have to Use your imagination. I've even been known to use, make paper roses. Okay, I think one last little one, and I'll be able to show you the finished product. There you go, super, super sweet. And we've got a fantastic wrist corsage without having a traditional wristlet. So now that we're done, you'll want to present it. I have a little treat bag that's left over from the holidays. It's going to be perfect. So note, do not put your flowers in the refrigerator. Your refrigerator is colder than a florist cooler and you can actually freeze your flowers. 
Also, when you're using hot glue, the refrigerator makes that glue very fragile and it can cause the glue to crack and break and eventually all of your flowers are gonna fall off and we don't want that. So what we've done today essentially made our own DIY wristlet and the base part, the possibilities are endless.